Hi, I'm Daniel Havey, and I'm going to do a demo with an experiment that demonstrates LedBat's ability to back off and not interfere with end-user non-LedBat traffic. So, in this graph, we see in the blue LedBat traffic full of, at full utilization, and then in the orange, we see non-LedBat or end-user traffic. As soon as the end-user traffic starts, LedBat defers the network and gets out of the way. We can see that there's just a tiny bit of blue here until the end user traffic completes and LedBat can utilize the network without interfering. Then LedBat comes right back. Okay, that was a lot of fun, but let's go ahead and get to the live action part of this demo. So I have an Azure VM with Windows Server 2019 on which I am running a traffic server. And I'm going to use my Windows 10 desktop to bring up three PowerShell windows. In the yellow, I'm running a ping in order to give me an RTT sample. And we can see that the RTT is around 8 to 10 milliseconds. In the blue window, I'm going to run my lead bad traffic, and in the gray window, I will run my non lead bad traffic. Okay, let's go ahead and start up the lead bad traffic. Let it climb to full utilization. And now that it's settled in, let's go ahead and start the end user or non lead bad traffic. And we're going to see as soon as the traffic generator in the gray window ramps up, the lead bad in the blue window will back off and defer the traffic. There we go. Ramping up now. Lead bat is backing off and not interfering. Let me go ahead and stop the end user traffic and lead bat comes right back. Ramping up to full utilization. Okay, let's do that again. Starting the end user non lead bat traffic now. Ramping up. LedBat is ramping down and not interfering, stopping the end user traffic, and LedBat is ramping back up, utilizing the network. And that, my friends, is LedBat's power to not interfere with end users. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.